Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we're gonna check out what Kai Green looks like and is he downsized or not? Is he melting or not? Some people are saying that he's downsized, some people are saying that he's just off the gear, that he's not downsized. In my opinion, it looks like he downsized. I think he lost a lot of muscle, I don't think this is just going off and getting softer. It looks like he melted, he's losing the size of his arms in particular, that's what you can see, and his waist starts to look bigger in comparison, you can see right here, look at the waist size, he's, he looks huge in that area, and the arms look much much smaller, his forearms are pretty much non-existent, here you can also see the shoulders, like there is no pop in the, in the side delts, in the front delts, rear delts, I don't think he just lost some fullness and the hardness and, and vascularity and stuff like that because he went off the cycle, no, no, no way, he downsized, he is definitely downsized, he, he, he lost a lot of muscle, this is obviously not just being off, when bodybuilders go off, yeah, they lose some fullness, they lose some hardness, they lose some vascularity, but unless they tell you they're off, you wouldn't even guess, would you guess that Ian Valier is off here? Well, he talks openly about how much he's using, I mean, he's not lying about anything. He told us openly that he was using, like, I don't know, uh, 600, 700 mix of Tren, so now he's off and he talks about that openly. After the Mr. Olympia, he goes off, and this is what he looks like after 3 months of not using anything, and training really hard, following the diet, and what happens? He loses the hardness, he loses the vascularity, he loses the fullness too, even though his arms are looking super full and round here, it's probably because he has an arm pump and also he's super arm dominant, but his weak area is his chest, and you can obviously see that his chest lost a lot of fullness, so this is what happens when bodybuilders go off, and this is what happens when bodybuilders decide to downsize when they start melting due to not being on gear, not training super hard, or simply because of the old age. Kai Green being 46, he can't hold on to all that muscle for very long, right? The biggest bodybuilding media outlet, Nick Strength and Power, made a video about this, and uh, he said that Kai Green is downsized, he said that Kai Green is melting, some people didn't like what he said, they don't agree with him, me personally, I absolutely agree, I think it's a fact, I think Kai Green did downsize, I think he is melting, put it whichever way you like, but what I don't like here is Nick Strength and Power photoshopping Kai Green's arms. This is not Kai Green, this is not a real photo here on the right, this is not how small his arms are, you can see it here. The photo on the left is the real photo from the video, you can see it on Kai's Instagram profile, you can go by yourself, and obviously Nick Strength and Power photoshopped his arm ridiculously, he made it twice as small, shoulder too, and I think he made his waist even bigger, so I don't know why the hell did he do this, I mean yeah I guess it's a clickbait, a good clickbait, but is it a little bit too much, it's quite obvious, downsizing, photoshopping Kai Green like this, I don't know, I think it's pretty lame, but uh, I mean, is Kai Green downsized, is he melting, sure, but is, is he melting this much, no, this is obviously photoshopped quite heavily, and I gotta say it's very disrespectful, no matter what Kai Green did and how much he lies to everybody, I mean, photoshopping his arms like this, it's a little bit too much, I don't like it. Doing this, yeah, I, I, it's, it's a little bit over the top, in my opinion. Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. Alright, next story, next update is about Lionel Biecki. You can see him here at the Arnold Classic stage, standing right next to Kai Green. And you guys know how good Kai Green was back in the day. I mean, he won the Arnold Classic, he was the runner-up at the Mr. Olympia multiple times, when the Mr. Olympia was very, very competitive. And here, standing right next to him, holding his own, is Lionel Biecki, who has godlike genetics. One of the best genetics in modern bodybuilding. Everybody knows that. The reason why he never places super well is because he's always like in the off-season shape. Why am I mentioning him? It's because we have an update of him. It's been a while since we saw anything recent, but this is a, an update of him training, and you can get an idea of how big he is. And he is looking really freaking big and full and round. It seems like he actually added more muscle, but his waistline seems just as small. He is growing everywhere else but in that area, which is the point, and he is doing it quite efficiently. 
So uh, last year he wanted to compete the Arnold, he wasn't able to travel, which is not the first time that uh, he, he, he promised to compete and didn't show up for whatever reason. And that's why I compared him to Kai Green, because people are starting to compare him to Kai, because they're both making false promises. But I believe Lionel is not competing, wasn't able to compete, simply because he was not able to travel, and that was it. I think he wants to compete really badly. I saw in the comment section, somebody asked him, is he done? Is he gonna compete again? He says yes, he's gonna compete again. He is not done with competing. But uh, based on this video here, I can say that he made a lot of progress. And the next time we see him on stage, hopefully, he will bring the conditioning. That's gonna be a dangerous package. Because, I mean, look at this guy. Look at him when he starts, uh, when he grabs the weights. Look at how thick he is and how small his waist is. Look at the size of those legs and that back, like, from the side. You can see the thickness of his body. Like, he has a lot of muscle everywhere. Legs, back, shoulders, arms, chest everywhere but the waistline so he's doing a really good job and this is the guy that people compare to flex uh, wheeler the most he is one of those guys that can replace flex wheeler i think the only guy that can do that some people like to compare flex to actually they like to compare samson daura to flex but i don't think he's on lionel's level lionel does have those crazy genetics very limp dominant yet uh, also very developed through the chest and the back and the legs uh, has a lot of maturity and everything is just spot on basically small waist crazy shape uh, insane symmetry it's all about bringing the conditioning and when i say conditioning he doesn't have a problem with conditioning like cedric for example cedric comes a little bit off a lionel comes in off season shape basically so guest posing shape some bodybuilders look the same when they're guest posing the ones that are really worrying about how they look when they're guest posing the ones that are staying in a good shape all year round so if if lionel actually came in shape in decent shape he can pretty much beat everybody and win the mr olympia that's the way i see it honestly he is the most complete the most symmetrical the most aesthetic the most balanced bodybuilder in the world right now and he has a lot of muscle as well if he comes shredded, he can do what Ronnie Coleman did from 1997 to 1998, where he came from being ninth to winning the Mr. Olympia. Next, we have our classic Mr. Olympia winner, Chris Bumstead, who looks significantly downsized. He looks like a half of a man he used to be in the offseason. Why is this the case? Uh, well, yeah, he, 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 he was sick for a while. And he wasn't able to eat and train, yeah, there is that. But also, uh, he is obviously off the gear. So this is another example of what happens to bodybuilders who go off. So you saw that physique update of him that he posted also. I mean, he just lost some fullness, some size, some vascularity, some hardness. But he is not looking melted. He just looks smaller, a smaller version of himself. And as soon as he starts eating, training hard and juicing, he's gonna start looking bigger and bigger. In a couple of weeks, once his glycogen stores are restored, filled up, he's gonna gain like, I don't know, 20 pounds of, of glycogen and, and water. And if you factor in the muscle memory that's gonna kick in after some heavyweight training that he already started, and also when, when the juice kicks in, He's gonna get back to, to what he used to be in no time. I'm guessing in a couple of weeks he will be almost there. In a couple of months, two, three months, he'll be his old self, if not better than ever. But right now he is downsized. Now he started training already, yeah. And he started it quite heavy, right? I mean, this is four plates on a squat. He says it's just like riding a bike. And hypertrophy coach down below in the comment section, Joe Bennett comments, except the bike weighs 400 pounds and it's riding you. Uh, but uh, look, at, look at the ease that he's uh, squatting this with. So he's still strong. He didn't lose any, any strength, that's for sure. I mean, I don't know if he was stronger before, but obviously this is very strong. And he's just gonna get stronger from this point. Uh, in this video, doing this quad, he doesn't look small. I mean, he looks pretty big. I mean, the, the legs look pretty thick. The arms, the back, everything. He doesn't look much downsized. I mean, in all those photos and updates, he does look much smaller. But here, I don't know, he doesn't. Not really that much. But if he lost any muscle, he will get it back in two months, three tops. 
All right, Regan Grimes, eight weeks out. This is him right now. This is his most recent physique update. This is him doing the side chest pose, and he looks good. He looks great. I mean, this is the guy that everybody expects uh, to, to become one of the best bodybuilders in the world. It's basically just a matter of time. I don't know why he is not already there. I feel like he looked much better at all the other shows but the Mr. Olympia. And, you know, also losing uh, to, to Sean Clarida at that Legion Sports Fest, that kind of ruined his reputation a little bit. But, I mean, that's Sean Clarida, that's Mr. Olympia winner. And his crazy condition and everything. Yeah, I know Regan is twice his size, but uh, still, I mean, it's, ha it's hard to go against uh, a conditioning like Sean Clarida's. But I mean, also, when you take a look at his photo here, for example, this is from the Legion Sports where uh, he, he placed second, right after uh, <laughs> Sean Clarida, who was uh, 100 pounds smaller than Regan. Here you can see that his chest is looking good, right? The shoulders and the arms are also looking very good. They could be more crisp, more matured. I would like to see more details. But what I would like to see improved the most is the leg fullness. I would like to see bigger, fuller, rounder, just better legs. He does have good leg genetics, it's just gonna be like the training, you know. That's easy. When you have weak arms, you can train them as hard as you like, they won't grow. I mean, you cannot really punish them that much, but legs, you can always go crazier with legs. And you can't really go much crazier than what Milo Archer can put you through with legs uh, by doing those giant sets and whatever he's doing. Which is exactly what Regan is doing right now. So I believe Regan is going to be his best ever at the Arnold Classic 2022. And um, a lot of people feel the same way. So I think it's going to be a pleasant surprise, Regan Grimes, this year at the Arnold Classic. What do you guys think about this? Uh, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more bodybuilding stuff like this, subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.